The Artweb.net welcomes lovers of art and cinema to Creativity, a film series about celebrated contemporary artists. You will be taken on a rare and unique journey of extraordinary award-winning artists who have emerged to the top of their field. Daring and iconoclastic artist whose distinctive and exceptional artwork grace the halls of world-class museums around the globe, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Whitney Museum, the Museum of Modern Art, and countless homes of private collectors. These exceptional and gifted artists will candidly share with you their unique technique, inspiration, and passions. You're watching Celebrated Contemporary Artists, brought to you by theartweb.net. Where do ideas come from? Uh, for different artists, they come from different places. Uh, my subject matter comes out of very ordinary things, ordinary experiences, being on the street, familiar rooms, landscapes I know well. But something happens in the between the uh, initial uh, recognition of that subject and the way it needs to be expressed on the page or on a canvas. I don't work from life. I don't set my easel up in front of a motif and paint. I work from memory, largely. And I don't, I tend, I tend, or in fact, I hardly ever use photographs, uh, which I find makes my work feel dry. I prefer to dig into my memory, my recollection, with all the accuracies and distortions that that process involves. I'm interested in how a person can contain within themselves very contradictory judgments about themselves and others and about the world. I'm interested in something that happens in memory which is parallel. These reflections, and in any case, uh, led me to thinking, is there a way to compose to structure a painting in such a way as to convey that inner restlessness of the mind. Uh, and it led me to do uh, quite a number of pictures, uh, which could be oriented this way or this way. In other words, they had two tops and two bottoms, or no determinant top or bottom. There was a contrasting, equally important, equally visually strong counter image when the painting was turned, a kind of internal restlessness a life to the image in that restlessness. The psychological charge of a work, uh, as I say, comes out of memory, comes out of uh, uh, various kind of emotion that are attached to place. Uh, but uh, in a particular work, uh, such as one called intellectual baggage. We have a very ordinary room that I've painted many, many times. It's a doorway, enters into another room. Uh, there's a suitcase. There are newspapers which are fluttering. 
uh, the the subject really is change. The suitcase, perhaps we may say, contains a lot of things we've learned to do as an artist. I've learned to do as an artist. Uh, skills which have been important, but at a certain point no longer apply to other subjects and other feelings which I hadn't touched before. And the newspapers themselves, as they flutter past, and I hate to, I hate to nail the symbols down that way, right, really have to do with the potential for change and shift. So you have the static lump of the suitcase and the somewhat uncertain flutter of possible change. If I get interested in a subject, I'll tend to follow it out in every medium I work in. Uh, because I feel that to really get to the core of the subject, you have to feel it in different ways and different sizes. Uh, to, to really think it through, I may start with a couple of pen sketches. I may do a watercolor. I may undertake a painting or a couple of paintings. And I may go back and continue searching with that subject in, into, the, into a watercolor print again. Uh, the idea of working in series is one which is, I think, familiar in the 20th century. Uh, and uh, uh, for me, I never really feel, a, a rather, let's put it this way, uh, that once I get engaged with a subject, I need to live with it and live through it for a while. When I do watercolors, I'm interested in a directness, spontaneity, uh, the liveliness that's possible with the fluid medium. The oil painting, the not oil paint, I don't do oil paintings, acrylic paintings are longer campaigns. Uh, the thing about working with watercolor is that in a relatively short time, you can you concentrate your mind utterly on putting that image down. It has a freshness, uh, which which I like. It's a different. It's a difference between a uh, maybe composing a, a haiku and composing a, a long novel. The acrylic painting being the novel, the uh, uh, watercolor being a uh, the haiku. Working, painting, drawing, is not just putting down something that exists in your head and that's it. As you work, the subject develops and changes. It, in, it, it becomes enriched each time you approach it again. In a sense, the subject, the emotion, grows as you handle the material each time in a different medium. My job is to look, to think about it, to reflect on my experience, 